Jessie and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to Jessie's Shelf where I talk about books tea and sometimes my dogs make an appearance. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I love you. Holy crap. That was a long time, guys. I have not said those words in so long. Hi, it's Jessie. I'm here making a YouTube video for the first time since the summer. It feels good, but it's also nerve-wracking, so bear with me. This video might be rough. Um, it's I haven't been here in a while, and I'm going to address it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm feeling okay today to talk about everything, and I'm doing a QA. and a I have never done a QA and a before. Um, I've had, like, a few questions come in. Not as many as I quite wanted, but, you know, um, whatever. So we're going to answer some questions, I'm going to talk, and I'm going to be wrapping books. So I am wrapping a bunch of books for my sister-in-law, Jade. Hi Jade if you're watching. Um, and no, you're not getting a sneak peek at any of these books, so if you clicked on this video to snoop, just go back. Don't snoop. Um, I'm just kidding, watch it, because yeah, you're one of my only fans. So anyways, Jade and I have decided this year to do, do a book advent calendar, and that's kind of our Christmas gift to ourselves. So we, um, throughout the year decide, well last year we decided to do this and um, we bought each other 25 books. Jade, you're getting more than 25 because I completed some series for you. Um, and basically what we do is we number them, we wrap them and each day we each get to open up a book or two or three in Jade's case. And I'm so excited to do this. Uh, I bought her books last year on Boxing Day for this. So I have had quite a collection of books going on for her and I am just so pumped to give them to her and like her to text me after. Um, she doesn't have a YouTube channel, um, but uh, what I'm gonna do with mine is I'm going to um, do kind of a vlog style video for you guys. Um, as long as I'm feeling up to it, I'll open like one a day and post a week long vlog is basically what I'm gonna do for it. I'm also doing a tea advent calendar this year with David's Tea, not sponsored or anything. It's something I wanted to do last year, so I'm going to combine them both. So you guys are going to see what Jade got me. Um, and yeah, I'll probably post on my Twitter too. I'm very excited. And I just kind of, you know, I was trying to be creative with this wrapping. I am not good at wrapping. I am not good at painting. And uh, yeah, this is the first one she gets to open. One of my favorite books ever. You guys can see and I'm pumped so yeah we will get to wrapping and get to answering some questions so let's take a question first um my first question is going to be from the nerd herd you guys don't know I'm in a group called the nerd herd and um they we read books together so anyways this question is from Rachel K and her question is if you had one book which would it be to destroy Good question, Rach. Um, so what book I would destroy? Oh man. Okay, so um, I only have one one star book this year. It's The Kiss Thief. Um, I listened to an audio. I will put a picture up here somewhere. It's probably it's my least favorite book of the year. Spoiler for my least favorite book of the year video. Um, it's horrible. It's so it's terrible. I would destroy this. It's like. I thought it was going to be like a mob love story, but it's about this guy who basically pays a certain amount of money to this girl's dad to keep her in his house as basically like a sex slave, in my opinion. And it was just poorly written, poorly executed, and it just wasn't a good book at all. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't good to read. I really hope Jade can't see me when I grab these books. So that is that question. Definitely The Kiss Thief. Um, last year I read a pretty horrible book too. Um, Paper Princess by Aaron Watt. Horrid, horrid, horrid book. Um, I know some of you guys like that book, but I definitely, definitely don't. Um, so yeah, we will get to wrapping. Um, I'm just gonna put the wrapped ones up here. I wrapped a couple before I, um, put on the camera, so. And I, yeah, I'll probably paint a few of them in front of you guys, so. I hope this video isn't too, too long. So yeah, um, that was question one. I guess I can talk about where I've been to. I mean, I was going to do that in a um, 
uh, my wrap up video because I'm going to be making a big wrap up video for August, September, and October, and I'll make a separate one for November. Um, and I apologize if I say um a lot. Uh, so yeah, I guess I will. Uh, I might as well address it now where I've been and what's been going on because why the heck not? Uh, wrapping books. Okay, so where do I even start? So I have been gone for a while. Oh, hi, buddy. So my dogs might be in and out of these video, guys. I apologize. No, I don't apologize. Can you guys like seeing my dogs? I know you do. Oh, God. All right. <sighs> Cash, I'm really bad at wrapping. So anyways, okay. Where have I been? Where the hell has Jesse from Jesse Shelf been? So I... This isn't even a question, but I'm addressing it. So, um, I haven't posted a video in a long time. I know that. Um, and let's address it. <sighs> this is hard for me to talk about some days. I mean, today I'm feeling very good and uplifted and everything. So, 2019 has been a pretty rough year for me. Um, I'm not even going to lie. It's been the worst year of my life so far. But on August 28th, 2019, that is the absolute worst day of my life so far. Um, I lost my best friend, my biggest fan, and a piece of my heart. Um, my dad was on a bike trip with his fiance. Uh, they were on their motorbike. They were coming home from Banff. They were going through the States. And um, they were in North Dakota, and they were in a motorcycle accident. My dad didn't make it, so my dad died. And I don't want to bring down the mood of this video, but YouTube is a really big part of my life. Now it has been since I started my channel, and I've never been like one of those people who makes like a big huge like life update like I know I'm not a booktuber I'm not a youtuber or booktuber where if I don't post a video for a week you guys don't notice like I know that I mean I'm not <laughs> I'm not that up on myself but I I I am also an open book. I really am. I'm very open. I'm open about my feelings. Some people would say I wear my heart on my sleeve. And um I often give you guys glimpses into my life. Like I have my dog videos. Um you know, like I had work reads and I'm very open about my my job and like what I do and I tell you guys when we're going camping and um you know, like Last year I was having a hard time too and I didn't even like open up about it because it was work related and I couldn't really open up about it um, for uh, legal reasons of course. So this is different though. This is a very obviously extreme thing that's going to affect me for the rest of my life. It's affected my YouTube channel and it's going to affect it in the future. So I'm going to share it, you know, and... Yeah, I miss the fuck out of my dad. <laughs> I I miss him so much. It hurts. Um, my dad and me, we were so close. Like I, my dad was fantastic. He was the most amazing father anyone could have, and. I'm only 26, you know, and it's, it's, I wasn't ready. I don't, I know I would never have been ready, but it's a really long time to not have your dad in your life from now on. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's horrible. <laughs> I've been really going through it. Um, and that's why I haven't made YouTube videos because... It's been tough, you know? Um, I had to take some time off work. I had to... I'm dealing with my father's estate now. And... Yeah. Um, it's literally just been a really rough go. Um, I, 
definitely do feel like there are a lot more good days and bad days now. Um, the bad days are getting a little bit fewer and far in between. Um, you know, it's, it's part of grieving. I never knew what grief, of course I, you know what grief is and then you go through it. It's, it's a whole different, it's such a powerful emotion, grief. It's, I used to think love was, but it's grief. And you know what? Grief is the price of love, in my opinion. Grief is love. Um, it's love, like I, I'm not, I didn't make up this quote, but I said this at my dad's celebration of life. Grief is love. Um, it's love you want to give but can't. And it's love with no place to go, so. The fact that I am going through so much about my dad's death means how much I loved him and how much he loved me, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry to bring down the mood of this video, but... <sighs> You know, it's, it's part of, I don't know, I just, I wanted to share that with everyone. Um, also, I'm sure there are other people going through things in their life that they rather not talk about, and they're going through hard times in their life, and, you know, sometimes, I know that sometimes when I see somebody talking about their pain and their struggle, it go, makes me go... There's somebody else out there. So if you're going through something, you know, you want to send me a message, you want to talk about it, you know, we can heal together <laughs> type of thing. Um, yeah, that's what's been going on. Oh, um, I guess I should say his fiance is okay. She's healing. And uh, yeah, the whole whole family is healing really, so. That is that. That's where Jesse has been. That also being said, um, sorry guys, I just wanna, oh, I wrapped book 25 for Jade. Super excited. Okay, so that also being said, what was I gonna say? Oh, about my channel. Sneakily take this book around. Um, Jesse Shelf is here to stay. Definitely. I'm not planning on going anywhere anytime soon. Um, but my videos might be fewer and far between, or I might post lots. It, it all really depends on how I'm feeling and whatnot. So, you know, I have videos planned for December. I have a big wrap up plan, but. You know, if I go, can, if I just can't function, I'm, I'm not gonna do it because, you know, this is a hobby and I want it to be happy times. But you know what? It's also feels like a little bit of a documentation of my life at times. Like I was watching old videos from a year, not a year ago, but just old vlogs and whatnot. And I looked at those videos and I'm like, wow, I was, I was happy. And it's almost like, okay, I will be, I will be happy again like you know what I mean so maybe I'll look at this video in years from now and go wow I was really going through it but look how far I've come so that's that you know I appreciate your patience <laughs> um, Sophie from all things equilateral asks favorite romance trope Favorite romance trope. Oh man. Um, you know what? I romance novels are a really big hit and miss for me. Um, they sometimes I really like them. Sometimes I can't stand them. So romance trope. What do I really like in a romance book? I like smart women. <laughs> I like it when the girls are smart. Um, God, Sophie, this is a hard, a hard one. Um, is like rockstar romance is a trope, you know? I really like rockstar romance books. Um, maybe the hate to love. I, I'm gonna go with that one. Hate to love. Oh my God, I don't have enough paper for this. Shit. I have to do this. Um, hate to love definitely is one of my favorite tropes. Um. 
because I, you know what, those books usually have quite a funny banter written in them, and I don't know, they're just hilarious 90% of the time. This wrapping job is going to look like shit. I am so bad at wrapping, Jade, I apologize if this isn't aesthetically pleasing. I also don't want to waste paper, and I don't want to waste tape, and I have a funny feeling I'm going to have to go out and get more tape. Oh, this looks like garbage. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. Do you guys wrap books? If you guys wrap books, well, you're all book lovers, so you probably get books wrapped at some point or wrapped for you for Christmas. Does anybody ever make nice little cutesy book wrapping? If anyone has any, excuse me, wrapping tips, please send them my way because Clearly I need them. <sighs> oh my god, okay. One moment. <laughs> Shannon Quinn, my dear friend, asks, what is your favorite season? And what is your favorite book that you always associate with that season? What is my favorite season? Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to have to go with summer. Um, that is absolutely my very favorite season. I feel like summer is when I'm the happiest as well. I mean, I get really down in the winter time and <sighs> seasonal. I don't want to say I get seasonal depression, but I get really down in the winter time. I live in a place where it gets dark really early and the snow and cold and you can't go outside and I wasn't made for that I was made to be on a beach with a cocktail and reading books so summer and those books I always or that season I always associate with Ilm Hildebrand because her books are just perfect for the summer they're the perfect summer read they're the perfect beach read road trip read just sitting on your deck in the morning having your coffee read it's they're just, and like, they're just perfect. And you know what, Il Nil Hildebrand even has like winter series that I'm like, woo, because now I can read um, Il Nil Hildebrand in the winters too. So Brandy Kirby asks, what are your favorite germs? Okay, my favorite germs have to be, you know what, contemporary and literary fiction. I really enjoy those germs. Um, you know, I can't even, I can't even pretend to say fantasy is or thrillers are because if you look back on like my favorite books videos, sorry about the noise guys, if you look back on those videos, most of them are the contemporary and literary fiction I've read, so. Um, yeah, definitely contemporary and literary fiction. Okay. Uh, Sophie is asking, most annoying plot devices in thrillers. Sophie, you ask the most intricate questions, my friend. Plot devices. Oh my god. Now I gotta think. <sighs> most annoying. You know what? I find it annoying, like... I don't like to read thrillers where the um, the bad event has already happened and you are you are finding out like after how it all pieces together because sometimes I find those books to be very confusing and I feel like I have to really be in the mood for them and I don't always like a confusing book. I like kind of thrillers go the event is happening right now and you're right in the moment and it's not like flashbacks and stuff like that and I feel like books written that way where the event has happened and all that jazz you have to be a very talented author to do so. Um, I'm trying to think of a book like that, but I can't. Um, I haven't had any, like, real good luck with thrillers lately either, which is super unfortunate. This book is so little. Oh, my God. My wrapping sucks. I'm so sorry, Jade. 
All right, let's let's do another question. I feel like I got really rambly in the first part of this video. Uh, Shannon, what is one book you never you never hear talked about that you think everyone should read? Hmm, what book? God, um, let's go through my Goodreads. One book that I really think you all should read that is never talked about. Oh, I can think of one right now. It's called North of Normal. Um, I'll put a picture up. It is a memoir. It is so freaking good. Oh my God. Um, it's about this girl who was raised in the Canadian forest in the 70s. She didn't have a very good childhood. Her parents or her mom didn't really take care of her very well. And she was exposed to a lot of violent things in her life. And it was just fantastic. Um, it was great. There's that one. I'm trying to think of one this year. Let's see on Goodreads. Oh man, this is going to be a long video. I'm going to have to like probably like cut it down a little bit and stuff like that. Um, let's go to my reading challenge. <sighs> Guys, I also got a new cell phone. Um, oh, After the End by Claire McIntosh. Um, I, you know what? I haven't been on YouTube in a really long time. I haven't even been watching. Look, this is number 18. It's a UK cover. Um, but yeah, I haven't been watching, so I don't really know what books people are talking about lately. But if you're not talking about Claire McIntosh's book, After the End, you really should. Um, it is not a thriller, so don't go into it thinking it is. You will be very disappointed, but... The way that book is written and just everything about that book oh my god it's one of my favorite books of the year for sure you guys want to see me do this isn't that sound satisfying i think so um okay another question another question da, 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 da. i might not get to everybody's questions i apologize mm, i think brandy asked me another question also, how many pets do you have and can we see them? Sincerely, the pet obsessed reader. Oh my God, Brandy, I'm a pet obsessed person too. Okay, so I have two dogs. I have two labs. I have a yellow lab named Sadie. Sadie, come here. Sadie, come. She's sitting on the couch over there. Come here, Sadie. Okay, oh, all right, um, come here, Cash. Here's my other one, Cash, come here. Come here, come here, this is Cash. Okay, sit, sit. This is Cash. This is my black lab. Oh, hi. And here comes Sadie. Okay, don't knock down the camera. Oh, hi, guys. Okay, Sadie. <laughs> ah, there goes the tea. Okay, oh, now you're knocked down. Okay, stop. Okay, so <laughs> I think you guys saw both my dogs, Cash and Sadie. They're ruckus. Um, so I just have two dogs, Brandy. Two labs, yellow and a black. I love them dearly. Sadie is two. Cash just turned one in October. And they are the most fantastic animals. All right, so next question. Um, we will go with another from the nerd herd. Da da da. Rachel K asks, when sorting books, do I go alphabetically by Jern or who has time for that with so many books to read? <laughs> Rachel, I love your questions. Okay, so, oh my God. All right, so my books are not sorted right now at all um, whatsoever. Um, I have a shelf over here with all of my red books and then I have a shelf in our spare room with all my books to read. Don't ask me how many there are. I need to download the LibBib app for my cell phone and start scanning them in at some point might do that live by the way so if you guys want to see that comment down below but yeah none of them are sorted they're just kind of all there i mean i have the books i'm more interested in i pull them off that shelf and um i have them on the dresser so i guess that's kind of sorting it but i feel like this shelf over here is kind of sorted um, I have all of my series kind of together and that's how I did it. Um, I sort all the series and then I was kind of sorting them by height. Um, but I would really like to be able to um, have a room in my house that's kind of designated to all the books and lots of shelving and I don't know how I'd sort it. I don't think I'd go alphabetically. Uh, I would maybe go by Jern. I wouldn't do the rainbow shelf or anything like that, but 
I think I would do series all together, of course, and then um, this would be my red books for sure. And then um, all the series together, and then after that I'd probably go by like size to be honest. Now a shelf with books that I haven't read yet, I would actually maybe do that one alphabetically. So yeah, that was a very, uh, very uh, intricate question there, Rachel. All right, I'm just getting some tape on here. Oh, I have so much dog hair in my house that the tape, that dog hair gets stuck to the tape. I'm sorry, Jade. All right, where's my cell phone? It's like that Christmas, at Christmas when you're wrapping and you lose the tape and scissors. All right, next question. Let's go back here. I think Sophie asked me some more stuff. You did, Sophie. I know you totally did. All right. Oh. She wrote, hi there, I've been thinking about you all day. Oh, okay. All right, so Shannon, who is my favorite hockey player? You know I had to ask this hockey question. All right, my favorite hockey player, women's Haley Wickenizer. Hands down, definitely, definitely. Um, she was just inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame, actually, which is super cool. I looked up to her and Cassie Campbell so much when I was growing up, because um, I played hockey growing up. Men's, probably Bufflin from the Jets, you know? He's a pretty big dude, and I've seen the Jets play. They, like, Bufflin's big. He is a big guy. It's like, holy crap. And Sean and I were close to the ice when we went to that game. He's not a small man at all, so. And the Jets are my favorite hockey team. I mean, I could be, like, typical and be like, Sidney Crosby, but, Nah, I'm not like, I am I was probably a bigger fan of him when I was in high school because he was cute, but now it's kind of like, nah, I'm a buffling girl. So yeah, all right. Oh, I'm really sad my dog spilt my tea because, you know, I was kind of enjoying it. Um, and the question, question, question. I don't think I have any more from the nerd herd. That's with that. Um... Shannon asked me, what are some of your favorite childhood books? What are my, some of my favorite childhood books? Um, so high school, or like, no, I read that in elementary school. Like my favorite book I had to read for school is definitely To Kill a Mockingbird. That's one of my favorite classics. Childhood books though, I loved Junie B. Jones. Oh my God, they were <sighs> fantastic my mom got me so many of them and oh they were just so much fun I actually like want to find I want to find like old copies of them I bet you I could at a used bookstore and uh you know just have them for one maybe I have daughters one day but they were so much fun to read um what else Else did, oh, Pony Pals. Oh my god, I read Pony Pals like crazy. I wanted a horse so bad. And um, <laughs> that was like as close as I got to having a horse. And actually, it was so funny because I was reading those when I was mm, probably in grade one or two. And maybe a little bit older. And I would take a, the Pony Pals book out from the library and I'd bring it home. And this is what my parents would do. I would read one page at night or like a few pages at night, and then they would read to me too. So we would switch back and forth. And I look back on that, and it's like, <sighs> that's why I love to read, is because of my mom and dad. Like, they, because they took the time and did that with me. So, thanks mom, thanks dad. <laughs> um, you guys instilled a very healthy hobby in me, so yeah. Definitely Jean B. Jones and Pony Pals. Um, I can't say Harry Potter because I didn't, I was pretty young when they came out and I didn't, I haven't read them all. So working on that vlog. Okay, another book has been wrapped. I'm getting pretty quick at this actually. Um, I'm probably not gonna wrap these all for you guys, but a majority of them. All right, that one is wrapped and ready to go. God, I hope these tags don't fly off. All right, next question. I keep going to reach for my tea, and um, it's not there because of my dogs. All right, Shannon also asked, do you have any auto buy authors? If so, who are they? Oh yeah, I do. Um, okay, this isn't gonna fit into one of the bigger books I have to wrap. 
Auto by authors. Okay. Um, Cassandra Clare. Hands down. Cassandra Clare is an auto by author for me. I will... I... I haven't bought, like, her, um, I've only ever read her Shadowhunter books, which I guess you can say it, Sandra Clare's Shadowhunter book, that beautiful sound, <laughs> um, are auto buy books, auto buy author for me, like, I haven't read her Trials of Whatever and <coughs> things like that, um, so definitely her. Gillian Flynn is another auto buy author for me. Whenever she decides to put another book out for us, um, I will definitely, definitely be reading it a hundred and like eighty percent for sure. Um, scissors. Uh, yeah, Cassandra Clare, Gillian Flynn. My shelf's over there. Um, you know what? Ilm Hildebrand. Auto by author. Um, I haven't read all her books yet, but I'm working on it. You know what? One of my favorite authors this year that I read um, for the first time is K.A. Tucker, and I feel like oh, that sound. Um, she's gonna become an auto by author for me too. I read one of her books this year, and I absolutely freaking adored it. What is something a lot of people hate, but you could care less about? Example, dog earring pages, having all the series that match. What is something people do that I... Well, I don't like it when people dog ear pages, and I usually try to make all my series match. I am one of those people. What do I... Um... What do people do that I don't care about with books? Ah, uh, frick. What do... I guess how people sort them. I guess, like, how they display them on their shelves. Like, I really don't care how you sort them on your shelf. Like, um... Or what? Wait, what? Oh, a lot of people hate that... A lot of people hate that I could care less about. Okay. Um, oh, I guess, you know, a lot of people, no, oh, that's a hard question. That's really, people hate it, but I don't care about. I think a lot of people hate the rainbow shelf. I don't really care about that or how people's shelves are sorted. Like people seem to really care about that, but I don't really give a shit. Like do whatever you want, boo-boo. Um, yeah, there's that. I wish I had like a cameraman and I could like get them behind me here and don't say Sean could be my cameraman because he's at work right now but I could get them behind me here after the book is like hidden and then um they could you could like watch me tape maybe some ASMR all right guys so I pretty much answered all the questions that were given to me I thought I had a few more oh god I hope Jade can't see this book Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, this was fun. <laughs> um, never done a Q&A before. I really like doing these videos where I just sit here and give Gab away. I just give Gab. So anyways, um, got quite a few books wrapped. I'm going to continue wrapping them here. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Um, Honestly, not much, not much at all. Just, you know, I'm gonna be here when I can be here for YouTube. I really am. Um, I've got some plans for 2020 for my channel and I feel like that's when I'll maybe consistently upload videos again. But for December, you know, like I'm gonna do the book tea advent calendar videos for sure. Oh, and I'm gonna do Tis the Season a Thon. Um, I'm gonna film a, uh, TBR for that and I'm hopefully gonna vlog um, and I want to finish my Harry Potter vlog um, I have to finish reading the book um, I kind of abandoned it but uh, yeah you know things are starting to kind of you know fall into place with everything in my life and you know things will get better I mean I know there's going to be some very trying days ahead I have no doubt in my mind um, so, you know, I mean, with the holidays coming up and everything, <sighs> holidays are hard for people who have lost people recently.
recently so <sighs> anyways also guys I really do want to make um, a video I think about because I have been listening and reading quite a few books about grief so I'm probably gonna make like a recommendations video not anytime like super soon but you know in the future so yeah I mean that's all I really have to say, I guess. That's all I really have to talk about. I feel like I rambled a lot, but um, yeah, it was nice to get on here again, even if it wasn't like a typical video I usually do. Um, and yeah, it was just nice to talk to a camera again or to you guys again. So I'm just gonna finish wrapping this last gift here and you know, make some more tea probably. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, watching me wrap some of these books. Thank you for everyone who sent questions in. I really appreciate it. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and also comment down below, you know, anything. You know, how are you doing? What books are you reading? I'd love to start to get back into this. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.